welcome. Now we've been learning in the past few weeks about the armor of God. What have we been learning? The armor of God. What is an armor? Can somebody tell me what an armor is? Who has seen a knight? Have you seen a knight? Yes. What does a knight have? Reflector. Reflector. What is it? Shield. What else does, uh, whatever. How many of you, sword, yes, uh-huh. Gumboots or shoes, what else do we have? Come on, what? you've seen a knight before? Helmet, you say? Huh? Knife or a shield or whatever, a sword. How many of you have heard the story of David and Goliath? Aha, uh-huh. everybody has heard the story of David and Goliath. Goliath, what did Goliath have? He had, he had protection, he was very huge and he was so scary. So knights are supposed to be that kind of a person, you know. They have protection everywhere, they have things that are protecting their knees, their hands, their head. What do they put on their head? The helmet. So God loves us so much that he has given us an armor, which is protection, isn't it? Yes. And because we are always fighting with Satan. Who is Satan? A bad? A bad enemy. Uh, who is he? Devil. What else? Serpent. They call him so many names. Uh, demon. He's got demons and all that. Demons are like angels. His angels are called demons. So those always fight against you. How do they fight against you? They tell you lies. They tell you to fight, they tell you to steal, to hate, what else, to lie, to become enemies with each other so that you chokoza each other and you know, unashika mingina mashati, unafanya nini, that kind of thing, eh? to do bad things. Okay, but you see, the armor that normally we have is close to your body, like your belt, where is your belt? Those who are in the way, Sindio. Yes. Helmet, where do you put it? On the, on the head, head. Sindio. Yes. And then sword, where do you carry it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you always have it close to you. But today we are going to learn something very interesting. The shield of faith. What are we going to learn about? The shield, the shield of faith. What does the shield of faith do? It protects you. It's also one of the armors that God uses. And I'll ask us to read uh, from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11 onwards. Can somebody read that? My name is Lovin Sonyango and I'm reading from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11 to 16. The full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against rulers, against the authorities, against power, powers of this dark world and against spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly Reliefs. Therefore, put on, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done, you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth bulked round your waist with the breastplate of the righteousness in the, in the place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Aha. Uh-huh. So you see, we are being told about the, the shields. We are fighting the enemy. Who is our enemy? Satan. And with God, when we have God, we have victory. When we have God, we have victory in everything. So we fight against the devil because we have the armor, isn't it? Yes. So we can fight victoriously and we can always win against Satan. So when we have Jesus, we can win against Satan. So just repeat after me, with Jesus, with Jesus we, can we can win against Satan. Against Satan. And what do we use? The armor that we've been given. Sometimes we use the, the sword, which is the word of God. Sometimes we use the, the helmet. Sometimes we use the sword. And now, like we are learning, is the shield. And what does the shield do? It protects us, isn't it? And then we'll also realize that the, the, the shield is 
what you use to stand with God against the devil. So when you stand with God, meaning you trust God, you are holding the shield of faith. So when the devil tells you, watch her, you are sick, and then you start saying, oh, I'm sick, I'm sick, you're going to die. See, Dio, you're not standing with the truth. When you stand with the truth, you're holding the shield of faith. So like the devil will attack you here. See, Dio, I will I'll shoot an arrow here. So you put the arrow there. That's why the shield, the shield will protect in those areas that the devil likes attack, attacking you and that are not protected. So you'll use the shield. He uses the weak point. Sindio, yes. like you see Goliath, he was struck by a stone. Where was he struck? Yeah. yeah, probably he had a helmet, but the helmet was not covering the forehead. So David goes and says, what happened to Goliath when he was hit? He fell down and died. So, but us, when we are in God, when we are in Jesus Christ, we always hold the shield. Yeah. We hold the shield of faith. Yeah. yeah, when we stand with the word of God, isn't it? Can somebody read for us Hebrews 11? We see what the people of old did. My name is Margaret Amboy, and I'm reading from Hebrews chapter 11, verse 8. It says, now faith is being sure of what we hope for, and certain of what we do, do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith we understand that the universe was formed at God's command, so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. Aha, now you can see faith. Faith. These people were just doing things because they had trust in God. They had confidence in God. And that is the shield we are talking about, faith. You see, like you see Abel offered as a good sacrifice because he was confident that the God he serves is going to reward him. He didn't know, he wasn't so sure whether God was really going to reward him, but he was confident that God is able to reward him. And you can continue. There are so many people who did so many things. The ancient people as a man, those old guys. Uh -huh. By faith, Abel offered God a better sacrifice than Cain did. By faith, he was commended as a righteous man. When God spoke well of his offerings, and by faith he still speaks even though he is dead. Even Enoch, you see, by faith, those people of all, you see, they just had confidence in God. You know even Abraham, the story of Abraham and Isaac, what did he do? He didn't have a child, didn't you? And then later on he was given a son. What was, it? was his name? Isaac. Isaac. And then God tells him, go and sacrifice your son. Who can, like, you're given your best story. What is your best story? Or what is your best thing that you love? A puppy. Imagine that puppy, you have really struggled to get that puppy and then you get that puppy. And then God tells you, go and kill that puppy to show that you love me. Would you kill a puppy? Yeah, because now you know. But if you didn't know this story, would you, would you, would you kill that puppy? Many of you would not kill that puppy. But because you have confidence in God, because you have trust in God, which is the shield of faith, then you stand with God as a Christian and say, me, I believe in you. I know if, even if I kill my son, Isaac, that is Abraham saying that, he will be able to give me another Isaac or another uh, a son or a child. Can somebody read for us 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12? My name is Cynthia Tieno. I'm reading from the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. It says, fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you are called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. In the sight of God, who gives life to everything, and of Christ Jesus, who while testifying before Portius Pilate, made the good confession, I charge you to keep this command without spot of blame until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's enough. You see, what we are being told, we are, we are in a race, isn't it? Like whatever, when you are living as a Christian, you... You, 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 are, you, you are doing something towards reaching Christ, isn't it? And in the process, when you're trying to reach Christ, the devil will always try to lie to you. He'll attack you so that you do not finish that 
fight that you are supposed to fight to get to Christ, isn't it? So every time we should always speak the word of God. When we speak the word of God, when we show that we are confident in Christ, then we'll be victorious. Then can somebody read us uh, another scripture? Uh, Romans chapter 10 verse 17. I am reading from Romans 10 verse 17. And it says, Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word of Christ. But I ask, did they not hear? Of course they did. Their voice has gone out into all the earth. Their words to the ends of the world. Again, I ask, did Israel not understand? First, Moses said, I will make you inverse by those who are not a nation. I will make you angry by a nation that has no understanding. So we should not listen to Satan's lies. When you listen to certain lies, then he's going to attack you. Because that will be the weak point, isn't it? He'll attack you. What will Satan do? What will Satan do? He'll attack you, isn't it? Yeah, when you listen to his lies. Sawa. But when you speak the truth, you're holding your shield. When you listen to God's confidence, when, you, when you're confident in God, then you're holding the shield. So we are supposed to have confidence in what God is saying. When you have confidence in what God is saying, we are standing as Christians because we follow Christ, isn't it? Sawa. So when you stand in the, the word of God and what God says in confidence, God is faithful to us, isn't it? He's faithful to us because he'll shield us, he'll protect us because uh, we are faithful to him, isn't it? So learn every time to be faithful to God and he'll, he's, he's also going to be faithful to you. So we've learned that the shield of faith is the armor that we use against the attacks of the devil, one of the armor that, that, that we use, isn't it? And I know some of you have songs and we are going to sing
for us to remember all we've learned, there is a memory verse I want you to say. And actually we are going to say together so that the children at home may also learn with us. It is from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16. It says, take up the shield of faith. Everybody after me. Take up the shield of faith. With which you can extinguish. With which you can extinguish. You know, to extinguish is to put off, to to, 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 ni kuzima, ni kama kuzima, to, to extinguish, extinguish all the flaming arrows. To extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. 